Hello Primary 5, it's maths time and our learning intention today is we are learning to find the difference between near multiples of 100. So you're going to be given two near multiples of 100. So a near multiple of 100 might be 102 because it's very close to 100 or 97 or 501 because it's very close to 500 or 499 and you're going to be given two and you're going to be asked to find the difference. We're continuing our subtraction block here. So let's get straight into it with some examples. If you're asked to find the difference between 503 and 495, this is what we'll do. So we want to know what is the difference, how many numbers are there in between 495 and 503. So we're going to be doing this in our head, but we're going to use a number line to help us. So for using a number line, we know the smallest number comes at this side and the bigger number comes on the right hand side here. So smallest number is 495, biggest number 503. And we are going to count from 503 back to 495. What this question is really asking you is what is 503? subtract 495. So from 503, it's really good. These are near multiples of 100. They're both very close to 500. The nearest 100 to both of these numbers is 500. So we can use that to break down the calculation. So 503, counting back to 500, nice and easy. We need to take off three. 500 back to 495, we need to take away five. So all together, we have taken away eight. So our answer is eight. The difference between 503 and 495 is eight. If you prefer for your find the difference today, you can do them as an addition sum. So instead of counting back, you can count forward. So you can count from 495 and you can add on five instead of taking it away. That takes you to 500. Then from 500 to 503, you need to add on three. So all together, you've added eight there. So your answer is still eight. So it's up to you which way you want to work. If you want to be adding or subtracting, you'll get the same answer just like we did there. Okay, so let's do another one all together. Find the difference between 810 and 791. So the first thing we want to do is get our number line set up. The smallest number, 791, goes down here. And the bigger number, 810, goes up here. Both of these numbers are very close to the number 800. So they've both got the nearest 100 of 800. So that will help us to break it down a little bit more. And it's up to you if you want to start at this end and add on, or this end and subtract. So I'll start at this end for this one, 791. To get us up to 800, we need to add on nine. And then to get us from 800 up to 810, 800 add 10 is 810. So the answer is 19. Okay, it's your turn to have a go now. So pause the video and draw out a number line and see if you can work out the difference between 606 and 598. Okay, let's talk it through together then. So find the difference. Uh, we want to put our 598 because that's our smallest number down here. 606 is our biggest number, so it goes here. So that's nice and easy to start us off. What is the nearest multiple of 100 to 598 and 606? That's right, it's 600. So that goes here. This time I'm going to start at this end and I'm going to subtract. So 606, to get me back down to 600, I need to take away six. And then 600 back to 598, I need to subtract two. So all together, so I've subtracted eight altogether. So the answer again for this one is eight. Well done if you got that right. If you didn't, don't worry. Have a little think about where you went wrong. Okay, 
going to look at one now that's a little bit different because the answer is going to be a two digit answer. So we're working with a little bit bigger numbers. Okay, so we're finding the difference. It's a subtraction sum, that both means the same thing. So in your uh, text today, in your textbook page today, it might say find the difference between two numbers or it might show you a subtraction sum like this. But in all of them, the numbers will be near multiples of 100, okay? So we know that we take the smallest number, which here is 697, and we put it on our number line. The biggest number is 711. That goes on our number line. What is the nearest 100 to both of those numbers? Well, it's 700, so that goes there. And you can choose to work from either end that you like. This time we'll go back to working from this end and adding on. So 697 add what is 700? Well, we add three to that. 700 add what is 711? So we add 11. So all together, we've added 11 and three, we've added 14. So 711 subtract 697 is 14. Okay, let's try another one. I'm going to find the difference this time between 703 and 495. We've had lots of practice, so I've set up the number line already. We know that 495 is our smallest number and 703 is our biggest number. But this time, they don't both have the same nearest multiple of 100, so it's a little bit different. So we're going to start at our smallest number and we're going to work to the nearest multiple of 100 that it has, which is 500, because that's nice and easy, that's broken it down from us. 495 up to 500, we add five. The nearest multiple of 100 to 703 is 700. So we're going to make that another step. We've added five to get to 500 and a really easy sum for us just now in primary five is 500 add what is 700 and it's 200. So we've got from 495 up to 700. Then we just need to get to our 703 in our question. So we need to add on an extra three, good. And we need to add up all of these together to work out our answer. So 200, add five, add three is 208. Okay. So let's do another one like that. If you feel confident in doing that by yourself, pause the video now. If you don't, don't worry, just watch me talk through it and we'll do it together. So what's the first step we need to do? Well, we need to have our biggest and smallest numbers on our number line. So here we're finding the difference between 415 and 198. So we know our 198 comes here and our 415 comes here. Do they both have the nearest multiple of 100? No, they don't, but they're both near multiples of 100s. So we can work it out this way. So what is the nearest multiple? What do we want to take 198 up to first? Well, the nearest multiple to there is 200. So we're going to add that in. So 198 to 200, we add on two. Well done. 415, what is our nearest multiple of 100? Well, it's 400, so that goes in there. So we've got from 198 to 200. We're now going to go from this 200 up to 400, which means we're adding on 200. And 400 up to 415, what do we need to add on for that? Good, 15. And then we need to add all of these numbers together to work out the difference. So 200 add 15 add two is 217. And again, remember, you might prefer to start at your 415 and work back. So you'd be saying 415, but you'd be taking away 15 to get to 400. And then you would be taking away 200 and taking away two. And then you would add those up. So you can start at either end. It's totally up to you if you prefer to start at the smaller number or the bigger number. Okay, so we've done a few examples now. So your task today 
is your textbook and it's page 26, which is attached to your assignment. So let's just have a quick look at 20, page 26 and just make sure that we understand how we're going to do it. So in number one, it says the population of Benvale is 688. And it tells us in this sign here, welcome to Ashram, which has a population of 706. The question asks, how many fewer people live in Benvale than Ashram? So that's really asking us, what is the difference in the population between a Benvale and Ashram? So we're finding the difference. So we're starting at 688 and jumping up to 706 on our number line, or we're starting at 706 and jumping back down to 688. The next one, number two, is very straightforward. It says find the difference, which is what we've been doing this whole lesson. So find the difference between these populations. So find the difference between 903 and 894. Question three, again, they're all near multiples of hundreds. Um, so they are the same kind of sum. They're subtraction sums, so they're find the difference sums. And you'll be able to do them the same way we've done them. And number four is a little bit different because it's given you a little problem. It's given you a little bit of a story. So Melbourne's population is 17 greater or bigger than Demouth's. Newton's population is half of Melbourne's. How many people live in Newton? So you need to break that down into three different parts. So let's look at the first part. Melbourne's population is 17 greater than Demouth's. We know that Demouth's population is 793. So if Melbourne's is 17 more, you need to find out what is 17 more than 793. Then the next part says, Newton's population is half of Melbourne's. So Melbourne's population, we know from the last part, and we need to work out what is half of that to find out Newton's population. That's the question, how many people live in Newton? So make sure you break it down as much as you can and then break down your calculations as much as you can with your number lines. As always, we're on the general part of your chat if you need any help and we're looking forward to seeing all of your good work. Thank you, Primary Five. Goodbye.